For this lovely oval coaster, I'm going to need some wash away stabilizer. I'm going to be floating some cutaway on top, my 5x7 hoop, scissors, the thread, matching bobbin, batting, and my fabrics cut to size, and some masking tape. I'll start by hooping my wash away stabilizer. And I'm going to put a piece of cutaway over the top. The reason why I do this is so that when the wash away has been washed away, I've still got some stabiliser underneath that's absolutely hidden uh, to support all the stitching. So now I'm going to pop this into my machine and I'm going to stitch round number one which is the outline. If you want to add a hanger to this, now is the time to do it. First off, I'm just going to trim up my um, stabiliser so that it doesn't interfere with anything that I attach to it. Putting um, cutaway on top is purely optional. I just prefer to do this myself, but it's entirely up to you. Okay, so if you're going to add a, ha a little hanger to it, what you're going to do is just get your hanger, place it over the top in the centre of the oval and then stick it down with some masking tape and I'm going to put a little bit both sides of the line. I'm not going to put it that side I'm just going to put it that side okay next I'm going to add my batting over the top and my outer fabric the frame fabric over the top of that and I'm just going to pop a little bit of tape just so that it doesn't move while it's being stitched Pop that into my machine and I'm going to stitch round number two. It's now time to add the centre fabric. If you've got a really dark fabric or a top fabric that's quite transparent and the bottom uh, pattern shows through, then you can cut this centre piece out. I'm going to do it anyway just to show you, but um, it's entirely optional. I get my unpicking tool, I lift and just snip so that I can actually get into the fabric and then I'm just going to snip around the edge. I'm going close to the stitching but not actually touching the stitching. And I'm going to cut this little jump stitch here, like so. Okay, now I can add my centre fabric. I'm going to place that over the top. And I'm going to put a little bit of tape just to hold it still. I'll pop that in my machine and I'm going to stitch round number three. Next I'm going to embroider the inner 
part of the oval here. If you want to add your own design or wording, this is the place to do it. I've chosen the Nutcracker uh, for this design, so I'm now going to stitch round number four. I'm now going to stitch round number five. The next step is to cut away the fabric, the centre fabric that is. In case you're wondering, I didn't mention it, but round number five was actually the facial features of the Nutcracker. I'm just going to remove these jump threads. And now we're going to trim away the centre excess. Okay, I'm now going to pop that back in my machine and stitch round number six. And that's going to do the zigzagging around the raw edge there. I'm going to turn my hoop over and place my backing fabric. In actual fact, first off, I'm going to trim up all these threadies here that are going to poke out otherwise. Okay, that's better. Right, now I'm going to lay my backing fabric over the top and I'm going to take it down so that it doesn't move during stitching. I'm going to pop that back into my machine and stitch round number seven. It's now time to trim up all the excess fabric, both front and back, and as always, I'm going to start on the back so that I don't forget. ribbon here so I'm just going to be careful not to cut through that so I've left the tape in place until afterwards Next I'm going to pop this back in my machine and stitch round number 8 which is going to do the zigzagging around the raw edge Round number nine is the quilting. Round number ten is going to do the satin stitch around the inner edge. And round number eleven will do the satin stitch on the outer edge. It's now time to free this from the hoop. So I'm just going to remove that piece of tape that's holding my ribbon down. And I'm going to cut this free. I'm cutting close to the stitching but not right up to it. Because in a second I'm going to go around the edge with some water and a cotton bud. And that will make all the wash away stabilizer disappear. Now be careful when you get to the top here if you're if you've put a hanger on it that you don't cut through it see there's my ribbon there and I'm just going to cut those threads there tidy things up a bit mm -hmm. Okay, 
so that's free now. I'm just going to take my cotton bud, dip it in the water, and just run it around the edge. And there it is, my lovely oval coaster hanger. I hope you enjoyed this stitch along. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of new videos as they're published. And thank you very much for joining me. Mm -hmm.